To be honest, I struggle with obedience. In a sense, my inner intellect intercepts the concepts of true commitment and discipleship. I tend to use the Old and New Testaments like mints just to freshen my countenance when I talk to you. But to tell the truth, when I pray, I don't hear God speak back to me because my spiritual diagnosis of rebellious halitosis keeps God at a distance. I am Adam, with an apple still stuck in my throat because I refuse to swallow my pride and reside under the authority of Christ. Like Eve, me believe my beliefs will bring me knowledge, but no ledge can be found to stand on when you choose not to acknowledge commandments. For instance, I've had many incidences when I would obey my action, but a fraction of my heart would refuse full submission. My petition was never mentioned, and you never saw my opposition. The task was completed, but my spiritual rank was seated because I didn't understand the connection between my heart and obedience. I am a charismatic Christian, with perfect weekly attendance, who preaches that God has risen but has no conviction to read the Bible or to live out its lessons. In my life, it's okay just to sin and ask for forgiveness. It's easier just to repeat this cycle than to work to be his disciple. Discipline is for children. And now that I'm grown, I can make my own decisions. As long as I'm a good person, I am not subject to biblical obedience. But my philosophy has proved to be a catastrophe. Without obedience in my life, I am left defenseless and open to any attack the devil has planned for me. My armory is empty. Conviction has left me. Death awaits me and my name has been removed from God's heavenly directory. Why did I make the decision that biblical obedience wasn't for me?